So looking at the uh, FDA, all of the FDA cleared whole slide imaging systems, they're showing very similar performance in the validation studies. And, and I kind of alluded to this, but in your paper, you mentioned that these studies, uh, these designs were originally negotiated between FDA and the Digital Pathology Association and various manufacturers. So given that six and now seven different whole slide imaging system with distinct types of scanners have, have now been cleared with comparable results, uh, do you think it might be time to revise those agreements? And, you know, we, we already started talking about it, but maybe focus more on image quality and usability testing rather than repeating those, like, highly resource intensive clinical studies and uh, that give us similar outcomes what are your thoughts on that you're singing my song for sure <laughs> I, I, you know i was with one of the manufacturers when we did uh the performance study for the second system that was cleared and we were really excited to see that and this was like 2018 2019 we were really excited to see that the numbers uh came up almost identical to the first system they were like right on top of them and so, uh, and I've, you know, I've given several talks on this and, and now, you know, contributes to the literature in various ways. Uh, and, and in some of the informal talks, I kind of joke, I like to joke about things sometimes that, you know, it now with five of these, six of these and the seventh one, it, it's almost like we're rediscovering a constant of nature. You know, we're rediscovering pi, we're rediscovering the gravitational constant. Like we're seeing the same thing over and over again with very different systems from a design standpoint. So I think that does raise the question of whether you need, you know, studies of this magnitude uh, after you have so much experience now, almost a decade with these devices. Uh, so this is a point in our paper. And, you know, for this purpose, we review, actually, we compare our results with everybody else's. Uh, and so these, these studies are a lot of work. They're quite burdensome, you know, millions of dollars, years. Uh, I don't even want to know how many hours they are of people's time. And, and we saw the effect of uh, basically taking shortcuts during the pandemic when people's time was was critical. So it does really, I think, force the field to raise the question uh, regulators as well. Is there a less burdensome pro approach? And I think the things you mentioned, the system usability, the critical tasks, the risk analysis around that, uh, does that performance, is that adequate for primary diagnosis? We can test that today. 